Okay, to create this nail art, as far as for polishes, I'm going to be using my base coat and I'm using the one by Beauty Secrets. Then my base color is by Maybelline and this one is called Green with Envy. Then from Maybelline but from another line, I'm going to be using Winner Takes It All. Then I'm going to be using my top coat, but in this case I'm going to be using my matte top coat and this is by Sally Hansen and it's called Big Matte Top Coat. And as far as for the art part of this nail art, I'm going to be using a stamping system. I discovered this whole thing, the stamping system world, like two years ago and I first bought my Kona stamping system. You get a bunch of plates like, that look like this one but from a different brand it says Kona in here. You get your scraper and you get your stamp that has a, two sides, the bigger side and the smaller side. So I got that like two years ago. This one is from one website that is going to be linked down below but it was wow so cool. I don't really know if they exist anymore but if I find it it's going to be down below. And then after I discovered another like line or website where they would sell a lot of uh, other plates. It's called Bundle Monster BM. So pretty much I'm going to be working with two lines of uh, stamping systems, the Kona and the Bundle Monster. Both websites are going to be down below. You have a lot of plates like, like this ones. Many, many images. They must have a lot of things now because as I mentioned before, I bought it like two years ago. All of this, okay, a lot of images. So I think it's a pretty cool way to just have a, an instant sort of uh, design. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to apply one to two coats of my base coat. I would really recommend you or suggest you to use a base coat, especially in that color because it tends to stain. Once it's dry, I'm going to just go back. What is that noise? Go to my base color and I'm most likely going to be giving this. Yeah, sure, it, it's going to be two coats. Okay, I'm going to explain to you what's going to happen now. I'm going to be applying polish in here on top of the images. And you have to be kind of weak for this, okay? And I'm going to be scraping the excess to one side of my napkin. And then I'm going to be taking and really pushing with a lot of pressure in there. And here, okay, you can see the images in there. So pretty much it's going to stamp the whole thing. And you have the image in there. And you have to be cleaning like the excess every time you stamp on each nail clean everything. So most of the times I prefer to use this side rather than this side because I feel with this side it grabs a lot more of the sign. So it's um, less waste and a lot of people complain that this is like a huge waste of like nail polish because we do remove most of it. It kind of, uh, it kind of is. But again if you like the system and the whole concept that's not really gonna bother you. Stamp in there and there, see the image in there. So again, it's pretty much optional, it's up to, to you. If you don't like it, if you feel like it's like a lot of waste and a lot of cleanup especially, then I wouldn't recommend you this method, but that's a lot of polish. But if you don't mind and if you think it's all worth it because of the design that you're going to have at the end, push then it's it's for you because i wouldn't be able to do this kind of art even with the finest like brush nail brush yeah i, I couldn't be able to do this this is like so detailed and perfect so this is why these things exist and i'm just going to show you one more because then it comes my thumb and i don't know if i mentioned this before but i kind of don't like it it is like super gross and just it's not attractive at all my thumb but you know what i'm going to do it just so you know how to work with bigger spaces and yes i know my thumb is like super gross and just i shouldn't be showing it this is all for this tutorial and again you have to kind of add, add fast from where you remove the polish to where you kind of pick the image and then like that. Since I'm here, I'm going to be adding a little bit of polish in there and then my dotting tool. I'm going to be adding like random dots here and there to just kind of finish the sign. 
And I do have a tutorial on this one, the setting tool, if you want to check it out. And in here, I don't really know if you're going to be able to see, you have to really let your base color dry. As you can see, I didn't really wait because I'm um, in a time pressure situation here. But you can see there, here, this part in the top kind of waves a bit in there. And then I'm going to be taking my Q-tip with some acetone on it and just remove the excess of the stamping, kind of the mess in there. Or just nail polish remover, whatever you use. And then I'm going to be taking my top coat and I'm going to just seal the whole thing. If you want, you can, you know, use a regular top coat, but for some reason I just wanted this design matte. And this is it for this design. I think it looks super cute. Even though it's matte, you can still see kind of the shiny of that gold peeking through. And yeah, feel free to check that sampling system out. This is uh, another way to add something to your nails. And they are so much fun because you have a lot, a lot of images to choose from. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff if you like it. And share it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Hope you like it and hope you give it a try. Bye guys!